Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank for Sony PlayStation 2. In the last episode, we explored the walled city in Metallia. We commandeered a turret, destroyed a couple ships, got a couple of skill points, and there's nothing much else that we can do around here. I might as well see if we can get anything else regarding I got some great ammunition for stuff. I doubt that I will. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, we are good on ammo as far as all of the guns are concerned, so we can go back to the ship and we can go back to Planet Orzon. Because there is still some places left to go. So now that we know that we have places we can go to, we might as well go to them. And of course, because we're going to Planet Orzon again, we will be playing as Clank. Ratchet will have to sit this out again. And we have to do some more careful exploring with Clank, which means we'll have to use the gadget bots to get things done and go anywhere in particular. That platform is there in case we need to go someplace. Which is, of course, where we found the Magna Boots. We'll be going there in a few seconds because I want to break the crates here for bolts. I would like to get my hands on the bolts so that way I can get a lot closer to the Visibomb, which costs 15,000 bolts to purchase at the Gatron vendor. Visibomb's rather nice. I would like to use it for some of the skill points that this thing will get me and I'm not going to be able to leave there so let's leap actually before we do that let's go ahead and break these as well I would like to get my hands on these bolts too and then we can get on the platform time to start back where we left off believe it or not you can go over to this area. Of course, you do want to be careful as you pick up these gadget bots and explore around here because it is very easy to get hit by a wayward bomb or lose one of your gadget bots to them. I'm going to break these guys free and then have them wait because I would like to get my hands on some bolts. Getting my hands on these would be very, very nice, and I would like to be able to do that. By the time I'm done, we should be able to get much closer to buying the Visibon. Okay. Let us put these guys in park right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and blow these up. Well, he's going to come back anyway. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and have you guys follow me. And if you... There we go. Okay, we have six of you now. Let's not do anything terrible as we go through here. Kind of need you guys to catch up. There we go. We got all six. Okay, w you guys wait again. Hopefully none of you get blown up. All right, follow me. 
Okay, I have all six of you. Now, these yellow worms that are traveling through here, those things hurt you, so don't touch them. Okay. We need to get you guys up this way. And I'm going to wait for these guys. There we go. I'm going to wait on that thing to, to uh, cruise on by. And then I'm going to wait for you to go in that direction. So that way I can take these guys all the way over here. Now to make sure that everybody moves over to here. Okay, we still have all six. Made that look a little easier than it actually was, though. You do want to pay attention to stuff. And from here, we can just go in this room. And we can just follow the path. Hopefully without falling into the acid pit below. And we can have all of you show up right here. All right, you can all enter that now. Of course, our adventures will still continue. I might as well go ahead and get all that. And from here, I'm going to break you loose and have you attack. I still need you to attack. Okay, I still need you to attack that. There we go. Alright. Might as well have you take care of enemies from here. From a distance. So that I don't have to deal with them myself. Perfect. I need you guys to wait. Actually, no. Um, follow... Now you can wait. Don't want these guys too close to the explosions. And from here, I can break you guys free. And get a ton of bolts. Alright, time to get you guys together with the rest of the Gadgetron squadron. And we still have a few Yajibots here that I can break free. And I do not want you attacking me. What are you doing? I got way too close to these guys' field of vision. And those guys are now down. And we got rid of the big claw guy. Alright. You guys are back. How many of you do I have? I have five of you. Okay. Six and seven. And I need you to attack everyone else as well. Perfect. Some of you went down. No, thankfully, the ones that did, I can bring back. All I can do now is just go back and bring them back. Just like that. Of course it'd be the two of you. Why wouldn't it be the two of you? Okay, we should have... Okay, we have six now. Okay, okay there's seven now. All right, eight, and there's ten. I can break these guys free, and then have them all go after him. And they will all go down in an instant. Can I have you guys wait? So that way, I can blow that up. Thankfully, I don't need any more health. And... I can get all these bolts without losing any of my Gadgetbots. Follow. 
Oh, there's a bolt right there. Let's go ahead and get it. All right. We should have 10. Let me do a head count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Good. Everybody can get in. Well, okay. Need to be a little closer down. Okay. Now I can do the whole entering thing. And by opening this up, we have these things out of the way. And we can go through this doorway. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a bunch of bolts. Because I'm going to need them. And by blowing that up, we get a ton of bolts right here. And we have an Infobot. We might as well go ahead and get the Infobot. Hmm. Better not let Ratchet see this one. We now have an Infobot for Planet Pokotaru. Of course, we still have to make our way back to the ship. Thankfully, Getting back is a lot easier, provided we don't get blown up on our way back to the platform. Not really much to say going back, so I might as well mention that this has been pretty good so far. Played it once, loved it, and... Now I'm playing it the second time around, and as you can see, it's... Now that I'm playing it a second time, I am getting a little better at things. Whoa, okay, did not want to touch that. Anyway, I'm on my way back now, so... Let's go ahead and really... I'm about to say, let's go ahead and get all these things back now that we can run around here. We're still going to need something else to blow those metal crates up, but it's not like that's really going to be a problem or anything. And we can now make our way back from here. This is probably going to be the hardest part because I do not want to be blown up. And it's probably little possible to be hit right there, so. I'm just going to make the break for it. And there was a bolt that I accidentally left behind. And before I go, I want to go into this room because... There are some easy-to-blow-up crates right there. Can I... I don't know. I think we may have to find another way into that cavern where those two crates are. But I know that I can go over here and blow these metal crates up and get a ton of bolts for them. Yeah, we should be much better on bolts now. We almost have enough to get the Visibomb. I don't think I'll need the Visibomb for Pokotaru. I can just as easily go for bolts there and then get the Visibomb after I'm done. Or I could just as easily get them elsewhere. I could just as easily get them in Pokotaru. Anyway, let's go ahead and enter the ship. What do you have in there? Gears, metal filings, dust. You know what I mean. What is it? I will show you this, but you must promise to stay focused on our missions. Is it something about Quark? 
cities are full of smog, swamps are full of muck, and tar pits are full of tar. But here at Joe Y Resort, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Visitors get a free O2 map to explore our warm water. The benign marine life will welcome you to the big blue world under the sea. Uh, you can also use our complimentary flippers to partake in speed swimming. <laughs> so come to Joe Y Resort and leave your world and your troubles behind. Joe Y Resort, Pokey Taru. I knew it. Oh, come on. Switch off your nerd circuits and have some fun. Look, we'll go just long enough to pick up the O2 map. Perhaps the extra oxygen will help your brain to function properly. Yeah, and maybe the salt water will rust your mouth shut. <laughs> so after those savage burns, we can now go to Jawai Resort in Pokotaru. I might as well go there. Uh, in the next video. Because... This has gone quite well, long enough. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to reach that. Plus, I can always come back for the bolts. And have enough to buy the Vizzy Bomb when I start the next video. So, ah, there we go. Let's go ahead and save our game now that we have the info bot that we need to continue with the game and we can carry on next time join me next time when we go to Jawai Resort in Pokitaru get that O2 mask and do Pokitaru things given that this is the video game I'm assuming that there's a catch with the O2 mask and it won't be until the next video where we probably find out what that catch is. So until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!